All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have this silver Yibai mouthpiece to show you what that looks like in case you want to pick one of these up. I do not get a kickback on these. I'm not, this isn't a commercial like most of these so-called reviews are. This is just a review of this product. I used to have these posted. This is a repost. I took it down because it's hard to find out any information about what these things are made of. So more than likely, this is nickel. There is a way that you can offer yourself some protection, which is the only reason why I'm really reposting these. A lot of people have been asking me about it. It's better to have the information than to not have it and speculate before you decide to buy it or not buy it. So at any rate, this is this Yee Buy mouthpiece. I've been replating a few mouthpieces with Anderson silver plating. They do more than just silver plate, by the way. But uh, I got another review of a mouthpiece coming soon for you guys on that one but i just want to give you guys a heads up on these if the manufacturer can't be bothered to give us information about these products then i really have very little to no interest in playing it or ever really using it but some of the designs of these mouthpieces are actually really really good and i'm surprised that more people aren't copying these types of designs in mouthpieces like with the other mouthpiece, I'll post a link to that one. But uh, it's the $20 one that was unplated. It's a fantastic internal geometry. And this one is pretty interesting also. So maybe if you see a mouthpiece that looks like this one, then that may be something you can consider. Also, I do not do any fakes or even like replica knockoffs on my channel at all. So there you go. All right, let's get to it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Yee Buy Silver. So I pay $30 for this. This is a $30 mouthpiece from China. This box isn't nearly as cool as the other Yee Buy mouthpiece that I bought, but let's open this thing up and see what we got. Mouthpiece comes in some plastic. And look at that, right out of the box, you get, oh man, you get this cap here, and you get a Rovener style ligature with this thing. Okay, I don't know why they did this, <laughs> but they put the plastic on the mouthpiece and then they put the ligature over the plastic on the mouthpiece. That's just weird. Okay, I guess I was so amazed that they actually gave us what looks like a really nice ligature. I didn't even notice that. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so it's like really sticky. <laughs> okay. What is going on here? Okay, well that's very disconcerting. I'm going to try and wash this thing off. Okay, so let's take a look at this mouthpiece. See, we have our nine here. Aside from this stain here. This mouthpiece would actually look quite fantastic. I try to use face terms because I'm writing a book and face terms just translates a lot easier. So let's look at this chin area, but let me angle it this way. These inner side walls are flat. Looks like there's some glue or something that's here. I didn't expect the more expensive Ye buy mouthpiece to be in this kind of condition. Let's take a look at it from this angle. Let's take a look at this tooth area up here. You have that thick tooth area right there. So I imagine if you want to work on these mouthpieces yourself, you have a lot of room to adjust that front. Let's take a look at the facing curve. Okay, this facing curve doesn't look quite as aggressive as the other Yee Buy, but it does look like it's got a sharp ramp to it. Short with a sharp ramp to it. These rails look pretty even. They look a little bit kind of medium. There's a little spot right up there to the left. There's a double parabola shape here, as you can see from the top and the bottom. Okay, let me clean this thing up as much as I can, and then we'll get to it. <laughs> okay. 
I'm using that uh, ligature that it came with and as you can see it's still stained because I couldn't get all that stuff off which is hilarious in a way I have my own uh, mouthpiece protector that's on there like that <laughs> Okay, this mouthpiece is really easy to play. $30 with the ligature and the cap. You got that stain thing, but man. Okay, so this is the first of the Chinese mouthpieces that I've been playing that doesn't have some type of weird low end bias to it at all. Let me play a little bit down there. <laughs> You know, weird stain and all that the plastic melted to the thing, man. This, I don't even really know what kind of silver this is. Man, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not on the ships anymore. I know I never really said that. Where I was, I was pretty tight lipped about that, but I actually resigned. That is a video for another time, but since I'm on land, I want to do something very special for you guys that I never, ever, ever get a chance to do. So, watch this. I'm in the Joseph Saxton Gallery of Photography, ladies and gentlemen. It sounds fantastic. It looks great in here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am super duper impressed with this mouthpiece. I am not impressed with its fit and finish, mainly this thing right here, the stain that came obviously from the ligature. Because I know so very little about this mouthpiece, hence not being able to go online and find out information about it, I'm going to make a whole lot of speculations 
and I might be wrong, but here's my attempt at trying to decipher some of these things. When I ordered this on Amazon, it came in a bag that did not have anything Amazon written on it at all. This came directly from China, and it took a little while for me to get this and and this Yibai mouthpiece here. Uh, they both came together. Obviously, they're from the same factory, but they do not look similar. Like this Ibe mouthpiece here looks very similar to the other Yibai mouthpiece that I have. But also think that this mouthpiece may have been made when I ordered it, which could explain uh, this weird stain thing that's here in some kind of way. But nonetheless, I almost want to forgive it because I only paid $30 for it. I, personally, I think it gives it some distinction. However, because of the quality by which this mouthpiece plays, it needs to be judged to a higher standard. This is unacceptable, really. I'm going to keep it. In the future, I don't want to see any more stuff like this. I don't care how much the mouthpiece is. I have this $45 iBay mouthpiece. This mouthpiece costs $30, and I now have this Yibai that's in this box here that costs $20. And it seems to me like the lower the price gets on these mouthpieces, the better they get, with the exception of that $10 plastic thing, which is kind of a joke anyway. But even still, it's like this iBay here, it's like the tip opening was too small, but it's a really good plan mouthpiece. This thing comes with a fantastic ligature. I've been really hoping that Yanagisawa would have stepped up their game and make more mouthpieces, or at least some variety with what they already have. Here's my old Yanagisawa that I have right here. And if I had to take a guess at what kind of material this mouthpiece is made of, I'm thinking it's the same as this Yanagisawa here. It has similar type of properties when I really lay into it, but you check out my review of that Yanagisawa, it has that kind of dull thing in the middle where this one has this really rich and nice subtone that's going on. China is getting really, really good at making these things, ladies and gentlemen. I think in the future, hard rubber is going to essentially replace metal, at least in the United States, France, Germany, and plastic is going to replace hard rubber. There's just a lot you can do with plastic now. Modern manufacturing is incredible. I think that metal is going to essentially become the V8. It's going to be this kind of luxury thing where it was pretty common before. So, All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you. Stay tuned for my review of this $20 beast in the box here. And I'm telling you right now, it's one of my favorites. All right. Thanks for watching.